in this audience, we have a lot of Muslims, and I'm not as familiar as the Quran, but you were a former Muslim. Mm -hmm. He studied the Bible, and he felt that he was commanded to go forgive his father and forgive that man that did those horrible things to you. Does the Quran or the Muslim faith teach the same thing? Because the show is called Jesus or Muhammad. Well, it, teaches, it does teach forgiveness. For, you, you'll see all throughout, all throughout the Quran, it says that God is oft forgiving, most merciful. In fact, it's a very, very commonly repeated phrase. Mm -hmm. Um, in fact, uh, every, almost every surah of the Quran begins with the phrase, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim is the beneficent, the one who gives good things, and Rahim, the merciful. Mm -hmm. um, and so you'll see that over and over again in the Quran. You see it a lot. But <coughs> what I think is the difference is that whenever you see it in the Quran, it is in the context of whatever you have done. So he is beneficent and merciful, but in, a, in response to something you've done. It is, I will give and I will love in response to your love first. I think the distinction in the idea of forgiveness in the gospel is that the gospel is, is forgiveness despite what you have done, not because of what you have done. And I think that's the real difference. So I see in, 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 uh, with John Wright that it is not that we loved him, but that he first loved us. Mm -hmm. That's a difference. It is that the cross is specifically an illustration that we don't deserve it, and yet we get it. And in fact, I would actually argue that earned mercy is an oxymoron. You can't have earned mercy. It's literally impossible to have mm. earned mercy. It's like saying, I'm a married bachelor. You can't have it. I think one of the difference here is this, and it's what I discovered as a non-believer trying to refute it, is that everyone talks about Christianity as a religion, as a religion, as a religion. Of what religion are you? <coughs> I concluded, first of all, as a non-Christian, that Christianity is not, quote, a religion. Hmm. Now, you have to define religion. I would define religion as man's ability to work his way to God through religious ritual, uh, through good works, through a good life to please God to be accepted. Religious ritual. Well, I learned that's not Christianity. Probably the biggest surprise I had was that I realized... <coughs> There's nothing I can do whatsoever to work my way to God. It says, for all of sin that comes short of the glory of God, and the wages of sin is death. I knew that I qualified under all. <laughs> you know, I thought, well, I did. I thought I was a pretty nice guy. But You're a unique person. I thought, you know, I'm smart enough with grammatic grammar of English that under all, I fit there. And then I realized that Christianity is not men and women trying to work their way to God, to please God, to be accepted through good works and religious ritual. But rather, it's God coming to us, offering not a relationship, not a religion, but a relationship. In Exodus 34, 14, from the original, not from many translations, from the original it says this, you should worship no other God but the Lord. Now, most translations I have, for his name is Jealous. He's a jealous God. Do you know what jealous means there? It means this. Listen carefully. You should worship no other God but the Lord, for he is a God. This is what jealous means, for he is a God who is passionate about his relationship, not religion, his relationship with you. And I realized there's nothing I can do to please God to accept me more. But my motivation and the Christian's motivation is grace, not works. Now, I believe... <coughs> If you truly know Christ, you will see works in your life. Mm -hmm. But here's the difference. I do not perform good works. Like I've started one of the largest humanitarian aid organizations in the world. Mm -hmm. But I didn't do it to gain favor with God. I did it because I have favor with God. Amen. That's the difference between law <clears throat> and grace. I respond not in order to please God that I'll be more accepted, but because of what Christ did in the cross, dying for my sins, I am totally accepted. Therefore, out of that, I am so grateful. I want my life to please my Heavenly Father. Amen.